Right, Kira again. Well, here we are back in the church hall and um, blimey, what a shopping list of objectives we have going on here. Um, so they want us to add supplies to the hall's kitchen and it's not just a bit of food and drink. Um, eight antiseptic or old man's beard dressing. Oh, I, d I still don't even know what old man's beard looks like. I haven't found any. Oh, I don't know what it looks like. Um, 16,000 calories, 48 hours of firewood or other fuel, 10 rolls of bandages, 2 liters of kerosene, 8 antibiotics or prepared rishi. Again, I haven't, I don't know what rishi is. Um, a distress pistol and 4 distress pistol shells. As well as somewhere along the line, there are 3 people who are missing. Um, so... Yeah, crikey, O'Reilly. Oh, somebody is missing out here, I guess. Uh, as well as a prisoner. No one's near the Sasquatch. Um, out there, behind the farm. Out there, in the middle of wolf country. And that's all the clues that I have. So, loot goblin time, I suspect. Um, what do I actually have in here already? If, if I, I mean, I hate to be, where are the supplies? Is it a supply chest? Is that it? What happens if I pick up a bandage? This will come in handy. Pick up a, pick up a penguin. If I pick up a, pick up a bandage, and I pick up a, pick up a, add it to the trunk. Where's the... Because remember we did this at, at the old woman's place. And... Um, when you kind of put it in, you couldn't get it out. Um, so there's no... Storage. Uh, have we got any clues? Father O'Reilly. Sorry. Thomas. I reckon it must go in the trunk, right? I mean... Let's have a look. So we were saying chuck in a bandage. Uh, right, chuck in a bandage. <laughs> Let's chuck in two. Right, has that done anything to these objectives? Bandages. No, it hasn't. The whole kitchen storage. Oh, read things, will ya? Um, right, take all of those. Kitchen storage. Right. Is this kitchen storage? Open storage cupboard. Is this it? Well, it's showing, so I'm assuming it is. So let's say, what have we got here? Antibiotics. Eight. Well, I've only got six. Can I give you five? Let's give you uh, four more of those. Then I've got one, and you've got... You've got one? It's, it's, wait a minute, what? It says one. I've given you five. What are you talking about? Well, hang on a minute. Transfer one. That doesn't count as one antibiotic. Why doesn't it count as one antibiotic? It looks like antibiotics to me. Two. Two counts as one. Very strange. Antiseptic. Eight. Just says eight. That counts as one. All right. What else do you want? Bandages. Did you say bandages, love? Bandages, love. Um... There you go. Oh, come on. Let's go down here. There we go. Bandages. I want ten. What about if I give you three? Bandages. None? 
I don't understand <laughs> what's going on. Do you? What? It, 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 does it? Three bandages. They're bandages. Why is it saying none? Well, that's just annoying. It can't update it while it's there. you got to figure it out. That's a bug. <laughs> if you ask me, that's a significant bug. Right, so it does and it doesn't. So so I know what I'm getting. Right, you can have that. Um, I'm keeping two bandages for now. Thank you very much. Um, what else do you want? Firewood or other fuel. I'll go and see what I can do about that. You don't want any painkillers. No, you want kerosene to set you on fire. Um, you want any food? I've got this food here. You want to take some of that? You can have some of that. Uh, I don't think you're going to have anything in here that's going to be of any value to people whatsoever. No, you don't want some tin cans? I uh, didn't think so. Uh, I have things that I can make bandages out of. Right, so anyway, I digress. We wander around aimlessly. Um, <coughs> apart. Do I? Did I? Um, I want that apart. Oh no, I've already got apart. Um, yes, so anyway, look, I have things to do. Um, let's start around the, around the town. So I'm going to head out. And I'm going to do, that looks like a distress pistol. I'm going to go out and do a bit of loot goblining, which is going to be incredibly boring. And um, and I'll get back to you, to you soon. Right, well, um, we're back at the hall. And um, we, uh, we are not quite there yet. We still need some more antiseptic or old man's beard. I've been looking out as I've been running around. And I just, I just have been totally unable to find any um so i don't know what the story about that is about um yeah i'm totally totally at a bit of a loss um i need to harvest up some firewood because um we're not quite there with the firewood yet the the other thing that i'm not quite 100 percent sure about is um the, the the food situation because I have been up to the airplane and I have got all of the food containers from the airplane. There was about eight of them or something and I brought them all back and we're only just past halfway. 9,780 out of 16,000. So I don't know where I'm going to get some more food. I've not seen any game. I have not seen any deer or any rabbit or anything, uh, any ice holes that I can um, that I can go ice fishing or anything like that. Um, so I'm 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 uh, a bit baffled as to exactly um, where I'm going to get all that food from. So I can only assume that um, I need to widen my search area, and I haven't really searched down that way. So we know we've been up that way, up the road. It's so cold. And. Um, I want to lay down for a bit. And I've been over to the plane, but I, I haven't been out that way. You can't, you can't get into Molly's. Molly's house is shut. Um, you can get into her basement. There's I need stuff. to find food. There's, there's stuff in her basement, um, but you, um, you cannot get into her house. So yeah, so I'm gonna have to go and have a little bit of a nosy around and see what I can sort out, and um, and then I'll be right back with you. So while you are out and about, you will find um, some forest talker notes and things. And um, one of the ones that you will find is for this, which is called Joplin's Bunker Raid. The forest talkers have been raiding Joplin's prepper caches. Whatever supplies remain might help you. And if you come up here into the hills, you will find these and this, which is a bunker. Let's go have a look, shall we? I'll 
take it. I don't need it. So we have a. I'm pretty, pretty full. Lantern fuel, a lantern. Pretty sure my lantern's already full, actually. Where is my lantern? There it is. Yeah, 1.8 kgs, it's full. I think I can use this. Antibiotics. Decent snow pants. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Uh, might need to change some clothes in a minute. Winter ski jacket, highly windproof but not well insulated. Some food. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I need to bring as much food as I can. I don't need as much water. We'll do a bit of inventory management soon. No. Huh. What have we here? My word! Cured leather. It's handy for repairing shoes. to fish around here man and a bed looks like a note this will come in handy oh. what is that tea oh no revolver ammo nice a firearm cleaning kit I could probably do with fixing some stuff in a note An awfully jolly bunch. Well, that was a whole load of nothing. Right, well, there you go. There's the bunker. It's even got a bed. You can hang out here, cook your meals, do your whatever. Have a snooze, carry some food, plenty of water. Right, there you go. The prepper's bunker. At least this is one of. But I've got some inventory management to do. I'll see you later. Right, well, Cura team, we're back with all of the all of the sickies here, including our friend that we dragged down from the, the hillside. And um, uh, we've done it. We've we've completed everything. So yeah, so you do you do have to go further afield. Um down uh where are we i didn't i didn't go that way um i went down past molly's um and then went out round this way um out round this way there is um a couple of huts and things that have supplies and uh, scavenged a couple of dead deer over here uh there is also um some dead deer. There's also some deer and things that you can hunt and rabbits. I managed to shoot a rabbit with a pistol, which, which is pretty good. I'm not very good at trapping them. I'm also not very good at shooting deer with a rifle, and I don't know why. Um, and there's there's some deer down here as well, um, not marked. And over here somewhere, there's a thing called the Draft, draft Dodger's Cabin. Um, which, or it could be over here, I'm not sure. Um, which isn't marked, which is a nice little cabin, and there's some deer and stuff that you can you can shoot and kill. And I came around here, and there's um, there's some game and things. Um, and obviously up here in the hill is Joplin's bunker, which is which is uh, full of stuff, which has been great. And there's a couple of little cabins and things. And <clears throat> I came back down the river, and there's actually bunny wabbits on the river and bunny wabbits on the outside of town so i don't know 
<laughs> there is game, um, and you can find it, but it's not. You, you gotta go. You gotta go up into the periphery to get it. Um, partic particularly around sort of this belt around here is where it's most prolific. Uh, there's there's nothing down here, um, and I haven't gone up into the woods looking looking for this slot yet. Although it will be on my list of things to do, and I picked up some other bits and pieces along the way. Um, what else I also picked up, um, by the way, <coughs> is, where are you, is here. So, uh, Old Man's Beard and Rishi Mushrooms. And the Rishi Mushrooms are quite easy to spot, obviously being red and white. They grow on tree stumps um, that you see on the ground, so that's pretty easy. Old Man's Beard, um, yeah, so it grows hanging down from dead trees um, from from limbs I was looking for something that was going to be like attached to the trunk or attached to a rock or something but it doesn't it actually hangs down obviously the name um, but it's still pretty rare I mean it's not like once you see it you go oh yeah it's everywhere uh, it isn't um, so anyway at some point we'll have to make up some old man's beard antiseptic and some uh, rishi mushroom antibiotics just to say we did it um but yeah gosh i tell you it was a bit more of a mission than i was hoping um anyway there's there's the father should we find out what he has to say does he have anything to say do we have to go up and speak to him are you ministering minister he's not doing anything you have nothing to say a thank you, a simple thank you, no thank you. Right, I guess, I guess that's a no. Um, so I guess, oops, wrong one. Um, I, I guess if I get this right this time around, um, it's the survivors. So I've got to find these three survivors. Now, while I've been running around on the map, I've obviously stumbled through these areas. And it seems to be a slightly different mechanic. So what you need to do this before you go running around is a flare gun. Now there are two flare guns that I know of on the map. There is this one, which I have taken and put in the store because it's right here. Anyway, and there was another one up by the downed airliner. So I have the one that was um, by the downed airliner, which is uh, this one here, and I have some cartridges with it. Seven of them, so hopefully that ought to be enough. And what I need to do after it's I'm rested and fed and warmed up and it's daylight, is I need to go out to these places and I need to fire these flare guns and find out exactly what's going on. So what I'll do is, when I'm done with that, um, I'll probably do the first one with you guys, um, just to give you an idea of what, what it looks like, and then probably skip the other two. And then when we've got all three of those guys, I think we have sal have satisfied your old vicar there. Um, that is locate and return the missing survivors. I've given them everything that's going to help them survive some time at least, anyway, before this blizzard arrives. Um... Yeah, I mean, my only other concern is I haven't done any of these side quests yet. So I sincerely hope that I don't finish this and then it turns to complete custard outside. And, and I'm left trying to go all the way up here to the glowing cave um, in a blizzard. And I can't walk five feet without freezing my butt off. Um, I will say, though, the good thing is um, I've had significantly less wolf encounters. I think during all of my journey... Um, which was basically down past uh, Molly's, down here, up the river, all around the side around here, um, back all the way up, up to Joppins, uh, back down, back around here, back down the river and back into the township. Twice, I think, I bumped into wolves, um, which when I started, I think I went from Molly's to here, and, and got attacked three times. And when I went up to the airliner, I think I got attacked like, you know, about another two or three times um, on the way up to the airliner. So thankfully, 
they seem to have eased off a bit, um, but they're still there. So anyway, anyway, uh, I'm going to have a little snooze and uh, sort myself out <clears throat> and go and rescue these survivors in daylight, which makes an awful lot more sense to me than trying to rescue them in the nighttime. So we'll see you all again real soon. There you go, there's old man's beard. There it is, hanging down, right there. Here we go, old man's beard. That's what it looks like. search area all right we're well and truly in our search area now stag down there look at that after me saying there's no um let's try loading it somewhere, right? Would they be up this hill? I don't want to break a leg up here. I don't think they would be. They're down on the river. even got a little fire going they're doing all right Shh, stay calm well I'm look right at here. you Logan huh Let's see what's wrong with you Logan I'll give you a bit of water there no Makes dramas what have you got you've got uh, you've been through that you've got some of that You've got a very good campfire. You've got a couple of flare shells for me. Now I think if I if he's yeah, anything like um, what's her name, um, uh, he di she didn't start healing until I put her down. So, I need to catch my breath. Because this is an infinite campfire, so I have plenty of water. Um, I don't have to go anywhere. 
I can even make myself this stuff will come in handy. another cup of coffee. Coffee's good stuff, by the way. Um, uh, why can't I make any more of that? Why will it not let me do that? I wonder. Oh, do I need more water? Heavens. Go with a liter of water. There we go. We'll look after this guy. We'll sort him out. And we're ready to go. We'll take him back. I'll see you soon. Right, well, I've got the Wolverine here. Back, um... Back to the church. So, um... Yeah, he's a heavy sucker. Um, he wasn't really getting an awful lot Thank better. You. So, um... So I just thought I'd bring him in here. Um, we need another bed. What, ah, look at this, another bed. That's a bit of a surprise. Please. Let's turn him around. Gently now, get some rest now. We need it. Right. Does that count? One down. Yeah, one down. Two more to go. Um, I'm gonna make up another cup of coffee. Coffee's great stuff, I tell ya. Um, oh, I've already got a can there. Um, because, uh, when you make up a coffee, it, uh, it keeps you wide awake, and it, um, it also gives you a warming effect, um, if it's, if it's just fresh. So you can, um, you can jump out into the, into the wild blue yonder, and, um, I can also do that with my peaches, and that will also warm me up, and that will give me the necessary stamina and bits and pieces I need in food to go out and do the next one, which is uh, which is this one, um, which is a bit of a distance, and then I'm gonna have to do a little bit of prep to get out to that one. But when I've when I've got the last of them back, I'll um, I'll call you back in, and we'll see what happens next. Okay, see you soon. Right, well, here we are with the last of our, um, last of our survivors, called Wade, Logan, Wade, interesting. Anyway, um, let's, um, let's drop Wade off. Bit of a trek back with Wade it was, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Um, right, there we go. Somewhere to put Wade. Go, Wade. Right. Are you ready yet, Vicar? <coughs> you gonna talk to me here, or do I have to get up there? Uh, yes. Oh, wait. I can't walk into that person. Father, father, can I can I talk to you? Where's where's your selection box? Thank you for your efforts. You have likely saved the lives of all these people. They now have a fighting chance to last through this storm. You have done God's work here and he will forever look favorably upon you. Thank you, Father. Do you think while looking favorably on me, he could also help me find a way out of here? As I said, the usual paths are blocked, but the blizzard, it may have displaced enough snow to... To what? There is another route. It's a dangerous one through the mountains. I'll take my chances. I really need to get to Perseverance Mills. If things are this bad here, they'll be worse. Look, I just need to get there. Can you help me? An entrance to the old coal mine. If the blizzard moved enough snow, you might be able to get in there. It passes through the mountain. After that, you'll find the highway. It follows the coastline. Follow the highway, and God willing, you'll get to Perseverance Mills. Here, 
I'll draw it on your map for you. Thank you, Father. My thanks to you, my child. And if you'll permit an old priest an indulgence, I'd like to share some wisdom with you. Go ahead, Father. Your burden. I see it weighs heavily on you. I, I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. You do not have to carry it alone. Look, thank you, Father. But religion isn't really... I don't say this as an attempt to sway your thinking or help you find faith. But find something, someone, to help with your burden. Otherwise it will consume you. Look around you, Father. I think the Lord may have his hands full right now. Whatever burdens I may have, they're mine to bear. And mine alone. However crowded his table, there is always a seat for you, my child. I'll keep it in mind, Father. Here, you should take this back. Keep it, my child. I fear you will have need of it before this long winter is done. Well, there we go. Blimey. Blimey O'Reilly. Oh, now it's going to get really noisy outside. Hello, Molly. Wow. I hate to be a foregone conclusion. Well, I don't seem to get a lot of other calls out here. I want to know something. Why did you work so hard to help those strangers? Would they have done the same for you? I have no idea. I doubt they would. You probably work all day, every day. Bust your ass to help people, delivering babies or researching or whatever it is you do. Does anyone really notice? I I'm not sure, but I don't do it for that. You don't do it for recognition because you don't get it. What is this about, really? I could have been something, too. Something more than a farmer's wife. Something more than a cattleman's daughter. I'm sure you could have, Molly. Don't patronize me. No. I could have been something, but I let him stop me. I let myself be small so he could feel like somebody. I gave up everything for him. And to him, I didn't even exist. I let him make me small. Less than nothing. What happened to him, Molly? You wouldn't understand. Did he hurt you? Did you kill him? <coughs> There's different ways to hurt people. Some ways heal. Other ways never do. And I told you. The wolves killed them. <sighs> Never mind that. I called to tell you something. What did you call to tell me, Molly? There's an old radio tower. On the top of the hill, overlooking my farm, you can see the tower from my porch. Not sure if you can get it working, but the radio up there would be good enough to reach Perseverance Mills. You can maybe find out about your guy. The precious mystery thing that you hope he has. A radio? But why, why'd you wait so long to tell me? And, also, the girl gets lonely out here, I guess. <coughs> it was nice to have someone to talk to. Oh, Molly. You're an absolute hat stand, Molly. Right, I'm, um, I'm switching, <laughs> switching that off for the time being because it's just so noisy out there. Um, which I know it's not, it's not particularly great to look at. But there you go. So we're moving on to a new chapter, um, and we still have plenty of things to do. Um, so we're not going to be leaving anytime soon. We've still got the Sasquatch to find, some prisoners, uh, and a glowing cave, um, amongst other things, and possibly a ghostly stag as well. Um, so yeah, man, I thought that was going to be relatively short five hours later <laughs> it wasn't short it took quite a bit of effort um yeah blimey and lots of running around and probably you know a good deal of inefficiency on my part um 
which is nothing new. But anyway, there we go. We managed to knock it all out and get it sorted. Crikey. On to the next one, eh? Don't forget to drop a like. Do subscribe. And I'll see you all again real soon. Ta-ta for now. PlayStation.